This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The morphing tool is on the editing tool palette just here. I'll click on that and that's highlighted. And now the morphing tool palette itself has appeared on the right hand side. There are two modes for the morphing tool, create and combine. Now I'll use the create tab first and I'll concentrate on Andy's face and you can see there the morphing tool is appearing just on the head and floats over the mesh and completely conforms with it. So I'll use the tool to make some eye sockets. So I've set the radius at 136 and the magnitude at 400. That's just about right. And I'll actually push the mesh structure in. Now I'll do this in the smooth shaded mode here or the textured mode. And I'll just approximate the shape of an eye socket just here. Only a very brief touch on the mouse. And you can see I've already made an alteration to the mesh. Now I want to mirror that for the other side, so I'll come down to the mirror button here, and I'll change that from Andy's left side to his right side. And you can see there that's been duplicated on the other side of the model. Now I'll make an alteration to that a little bit more. I'll reduce the radius of the tool slightly. And I'll push it in slightly more, just there. And then I'll mirror that again. That's repeated on the other side. Now this time I'll pull with a different shaped tool. And I'll reduce the radius. And also the magnitude to 200. But I don't make too much of an alteration. And I'll just pull that the other way. And again I'll mirror that on the other side. And then I'll smooth that down a little. And on this side. So what I've done now is just created an Android typeface with the approximation of eyes there. And I'll do a very brief rendering of that. And there you are. Now the adjustments I've made there also appear as a new morph just on the properties palette here. There are two existing morphs for the Andy head, but now I've created a custom morph here, which I can rename and save or export later on. Now that's the Create tab. I've now loaded the Ryan figure so I can show you the Combine tab. I'll reduce the exaggeration minimum here and the exaggeration maximum. And then by using the Morphing tool to directly alter parts of the body. So this will use the existing morphs that are built into the figure. As you can see the green dot is making changes to the face. Just by combining the morph targets. The more targets you have loaded, the more changes you can make to the figure.